What's happening, guys? Today, got a review for you on the Joytech Cuboid. I do apologize slightly, I'm not exactly feeling the best. Um, already done the review, um, which you'll see, and you'll see all the up closes and everything. Um, the TCR range on this um, I spoke about, I basically said. I didn't really understand it because you know the numbers didn't make sense from the instruction manual. Uh, in the small print, the actual TCR rate, the coefficient rating, is multiplied, um, which now I've, I've set it correctly. You just you know you turn the device off, hold the power and the plus on the right hand side, five seconds comes on. So I've set it to zero zero eighty eight, um, which I find working for you know my grade of stainless steel so anyway the Joytech Cuboid I'll be honest with you I didn't expect it to be so heavy damn it's good quality So yeah, go down and uh, have a look close and uh, catch you on the flip side. Good afternoon people. Here we have it, the Cuboid from Joytech. 150 watt device, upgradable to 200 watts already. There's some slight details on it. A dual 18650 comes with no batteries, obviously, no cells. You get a USB charger and a manual and warranty card. I only just had it, had a quick play with it, and um, so we're going to go through the menus together for the first time. Um, see what's what, see what's not, and uh, yeah, so there, there you have it. Let's uh, let's get down to the good stuff. There she is, like our reference her to a she. Box, got your manual in many different languages German, Spanish, Russian. There you have your USB cable, I'm guessing. USB cable, all the goodies. There we go. And the warranty card. I believe it's 90 days with Joytech, if I remember correctly. Warranty period is 90 days. So yeah, there we have all the goodies. Let's get down to the device itself. Right, let's start off with the unique feature of it being... Dual 18650. You got your symbols there engraved, not stickers, actually engraved, so you know where you got to put it. Down at the bottom, kind of hard because of the lighting here, but you do actually have a plus and minus at the bottom there. It's a plus, and you can see the slight red of the minus. So yeah, it's a simple thingy, pretty much. Locks into place when you shut it. And to open it, you just pull it down. So let's go ahead and put some batteries in there. These are wrapped batteries, by the way. They're not... That one's a bit stiff. I need to uh, heat shrink it a little bit more. But yeah, so plus down that one. minus down that one click it shut and that's it it is a stainless steel threaded 510 I'm not 100% what that is um, I'm 99% sure it's a brass threads are silky smooth just like the Wismex very similar obviously they're sister companies 
see the threads smooth on uh, smooth on there the device itself when it wants to focus do apologize Joytech cuboid very clicky button it's very soft it's not it's not firm like the RX it's very soft and springy screen with the up and down it's just dirty because I've been playing about with it to see if I can get used to it and stuff I haven't really gone through the menus as of yet as you can see the slide screen there we'll see that when we turn it on USB charging port um, and firmware upgrade obviously if they do bring out any updates right let's get down to the menus you've seen all the main stuff beautifully weight to be honest this is a little bit lighter but not much and this has three batteries so it's a thick thick construction it's no it's it's solid anyway let's get down to the menus five clicks to turn around as the usual you have your wattage mode press it three times to get into the main menu temp nickel titanium stainless steel and the TCR M1 2 and 3 you press down and you can change the different things if it's temp control you press the right one which will lock I don't have a temp control call on me at the moment uh, the ampage will tell you how many puffs you've taken, how many time. We can keep on the ampage like I do. And then back to power. Um, if you're in NI, one, two, three, go into the menu. The left click, left button, should I say, the down one. Go down to the power, and there you can change your wattage. And obviously, same again, lock your coil is the right one. But I don't have a temperature control coil on here at the moment set TCR if you press the right button and the power at the same time for five seconds there you can set it M1 and 2 and 3 and you can change it all over I probably won't be messing with that to be honest um, but you can do if you wanted to and again five clicks to turn around She's nice and simple, really, to be honest. Nice big screen. Uh, by the way, it just tells you your ampage. Anyway, one, two, three clicks. Back into the main menu. Down to go down the menus, as I've just showed. For your wattage. We'll keep going back up. So let's take it back into normal power mode. Uh, the temp standard still is rated for the 316 grade. But in the instruction manuals, let me just show you real quick. It does have the TCR value range for the cuboid for the different grades of standard steel. So I think you can adjust it slightly. I haven't really looked up on how they work. There, because it's not... I don't actually know what TCR stands for. Um, I thought it was the temperature coefficient rating. Um, but as you can see, 80 to 200. Yeah, it's it's not what that is. So they've, they've changed it slightly, but obviously it does say the cuboid is multiplied by the actual TCR range. Anyway, we can have a read of that. That's all in there. And all the instructions. All the goodies. Anyway, back to the device. I do apologise about sounding a little bit dumb there. It's just I've never really looked at the TCR range on the Joytech. I normally go off the coefficient rating. So yeah, it's rated for the 3 grade... 316 grade standard still. Which is a winner for some. I personally use flat wire, which is 317. But it's all good. Three to go into the menu. Back over to power. Same again for power. Three clicks. Fast clicks. Down to your amperage, you can change it to your puffs, your time, and back to your amperage. It does show the battery on two soles, not just one. I presume it's this side and this side. Let's just put a tank on here real quick. 
This set was for my missus. This is a new OBS. Great little tank if you guys ain't seen it. So yeah, uh, let's take it out to 42 watts. As you can see, 3.9 volts, 10.5 amps. So there you have it, and it does go all the way up to 200 watts, or I believe it's 9 volts on this. Um, no 200 watts being 8.6. Um, but I do believe it can go to 9 volts, not 100% sure. Um, as I can't find anywhere that actually tells me. Yeah, that was perfect, back to 42 watts. There she is, guys. Clarity at its best. Just a beautiful, uh, beautiful little mod. Do a few size comparisons for you against the RX. A little bit taller. Not as wide, obviously. Aesthetically, that feels great in the hand. But yeah, again, so does this. It's tiny. And it's simple for battery changes. Pop it off. Bring them out. Load them in. Push it. Click shut. Boom, boom. And the amperage thing is a very good thing. She's a beaut. So there you have it, guys. The Joytech Cuboid. 150. I wish they wouldn't put the 150 watt on there because as soon as I got it, the upgrade was already available straight for 200 watts. So it's like 150 watt device. No, it's 200 watts. So yeah, I would remove that Joytech. I will uh, definitely be telling them as it's only a, a minor thing, but OCD kicks in. It's not 150 watts. It's 200. Um, so there you have it, guys. There is the Joytech Cuboid. Nice little device. Smart packaging, everything you need from a from a mod really. Temperature control, rollable wattage. She's a beaut. So we'll go back up to FaceTime, we'll talk on her, and I'll catch you on the flip side. So there you have it folks. There is the Joytech Cuboid. Um, final thoughts on it. It's great. The missus already wants it off me. Um, do plan and get me another one. I like the way it gives you your ampage. Um, it was up to 9 volts. Uh, I believe I haven't got it to 9 volts. Uh, I've got 0.49 coil in at the moment. It goes to 9, yeah, 9 volts. It should be 165 watts on a 0.49 coil. Uh, so I'm presuming they use some sort of upscaling. It's only a dual 18650. But, uh, yeah. Definitely going to be another little workhorse. Plan on getting it wrapped. Um, she's great, the way you can see all your puffs and stuff. It's not as gimmicky as the X Cube 2. Um, although that was good. Uh, it does very, very minor button rattle. But it's tiny, you got to shake the crap out of it. Not too bad. Nice and clicky. As you can see as well, instant fire up. Pretty damn quick. But we all know that Joytech was make you know their game changes at the moment uh, with a decent price. Um, I got mine from uh, my buddy James over at Mail Order Vapes over in the UK. Links will be in the description below to my sponsors and everything. Um, and as always. If you like the video please like uh, any questions whack them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can and as always please subscribe to keep up to date with the videos um, and if there is any is anything you'd like to see in my future videos whether you'd like to see coil builds working techniques tips and tricks um, for the new people out there if you'd like to see different things uh, on advice on what I recommend and what I don't recommend um, yeah, then let me know in the comments below and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. But as always, thanks guys.